people you welcome back to my youtube channel my name is deborah okodari it's good to have you back here <laughs> yeah thank you for my returning subscribers you're the best thank you for the new subscribe thank you for clicking thank you for um for being part of this family i celebrate you <laughs> i celebrate you yeah um, and then on this channel i talk about my faith lifestyle marriage you know life in the uk relocation to the uk and with time vlogs and all that yeah so today like in my last last video i spoke about my birth story if you, are, if, if you need to watch that um that video i'm going to put the link in the description box or you see it up here yes yeah, so um i uh, today i want to um, i want to talk about what happens after delivery after childbirth i think people don't talk about it too much we don't talk about it like okay after you've had your baby everybody expects you to be happy you have a, you know you already have a baby because although childbirth comes with a lot you know you just you just know that you know the reality that dawned on me was like okay i now have a baby to you know that, that is solely dependent on me you know that that thinking you look you're someone that likes to be independent and now i'm seeing someone that is really dependent on me <laughs> and you know it was it was it really hit me so hard yeah so i as i want to talk about you know baby blues and postpartum depression so and how to deal with it so stay tuned and i'm just going to tell you how god helped me to overcome it so after i had my baby you know they were in a i entered my operation and i was going to the recovery room and so i think because i didn't even have a um one-on-one -on -one, um one-to-one -one skin skin touch or skin contact with my baby you know they're supposed to give the baby then you have a skin to skin with the child and then you know it helps you press um for you to be able to start lactating so i didn't have that so and but when i woke up you know they already wheeled me to the recovery room then i woke up i saw that my baby was already clean and was just beside me so i didn't carry him and all but by the time i so it was and then uh, my husband was around during the day now uh, and then um my my sweet angel my, my mom my sheffield mom <laughs> Mrs. Adibayo and her family, they came around, you know, on that Sunday with daddy, then the children that were at home at that time, you know, they came home. So I didn't really feel, I felt loved, I feel love around me, you know. But when it was time, because my husband had to go, the visit, I think we were just supposed to visit from morning till six o'clock or eight, I think. So he left around that eight o'clock and it was only me with the baby. I was not lactating at that point. That was when I carried the baby. When I carried him, I've never felt the feeling I, I had. I felt really overwhelmed. Like, I was like, God, this is, I don't know how to take care of this child. Lord, help. You know, at that point, I started crying. I just don't know. Cry. I was just, tears was just dropping from my eyes. I was like, God, I need you. I dedicate this boy to you. Please help me. Help me to take I don't know how to do this thing. I felt so vulnerable. I've never felt that way before. Like, as if I was incapable. But I was when I knew that. Oh, I need God. And I'm grateful that, you know, he's, he heard me. I know he heard me. And he's going to help me in this motherhood journey. Yeah, so that was, that was, that was it. Uh, that was what happened in the hospital and then the nurse that was the nurse that was on duty that night to one Ghanaian woman she was just in a living and also and then and i noticed that in this morning i became so sensitive and this way i just start crying and i'm like what is happening to me you know you notice that whenever i hold the baby like this I would just be crying. I would just see myself crying. I would be at when I got home too. I would just be crying, crying, thinking as if something bad, something is happening to me. No energy to do anything. Ah, uh -uh. I was like, what is wrong with me? And that was it. So that's why I want to share these tips with you that helped me. 
because I the first thing you know when you are dealing with baby blue so baby blue and postpartum depression you know I had to quickly google what was wrong with me I checked that why am I always crying because I knew that something this is not my normal self I get angry easily I was just touchy and all so I I, I google it and I realized that okay you can have baby blues where, where your emotion is just all over the place and then you can lead to postpartum depression and all that so the first thing I became self-aware I knew that that was the first thing for me you know when I and I did my research and I realized okay some women do have this thing I don't I didn't know anything like okay you because my pregnancy I was not really touchy, no sense. I, know. I was just my normal self. The didn't really, you know, didn't get to me that much as, as such. But after birth, I just need to step in so sensitive, emotional, all over. The next month, I start, I will start crying. So I became self-aware, and you know that was it. And then that was the first thing you need to be aware of what you do and tell yourself that okay, this is what I'm experiencing. I think I'm having baby blue. Or because if from if you don't take care of the baby you will lead to postpartum depression. So I now started okay, I need to and then I was open to my my husband. Uh, even when I cried I sent him the picture and then um I just started that was that was the first I told my husband about the I was open to like okay, this is what is happening to me and you know that was it. So whenever anything is happening to you, when you feel your emotion is all over, you feel depressed or something, immediately you open your mouth and say it out. That's the, that's it. And then I now started um, listening to music. Started listening to music, yeah, and then I would dance. Sometimes I would just dance. I tell myself, you are doing well. You are, I myself dance with God because because I mean I listen to gospel music, and then I would get music on youtube play them and then dance 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 and dance so yeah that was i think yeah and then confessing the word of god i can do all things through christ that strengthen me one day at a time tell yourself you are doing well you know sometimes because you're having a baby the, you know it's always artful it's for once you are changing diaper you're changing you're having a bar you are feeding me you know that first 10 weeks for for three weeks two weeks you know it can be a whole lot it's going to change your entire just tell yourself you're doing well you're doing the right thing you are you are you're taking care of another human being you know it's such a privilege to be able to do that so i think that was what helped me you know it helps me a lot i became self i self aware i spoke out i quickly said no i told my husband you know and i was really vulnerable with him and then i i started listening to music i would dance you know dance 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 and then confess the word of god you can do all things surprise that strengthens you just to get your mind and with that it was not a you mean like i didn't get over it but i noticed that you might do it and i danced to music you know i confess god for i became you know i was getting out of it by 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 third week i was really i was not crying anymore or any anything so yeah i hope you have learned a thing or two you know it's a beautiful thing well um, i hope that you know it will help any pregnant mom or a new mom, you know, to go through that phase. Yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. Until I see you in my next video, remain blessed. And please subscribe, Edjo, please. <laughs> please subscribe to this channel. And then i like to, you know, you can share with me if you any video you want me to, to do or any content you, you, you expect from me. And I'll be, if I can, I will be able to do it. Yes, take care of yourself. Be good. Bye.